We do have a new party member, so let's go ahead and check her out now that we do have a little bit of uh, time, I guess, to check her out. Look, he's still level 29. Amanda is level 25. Uh, she's got 10 points in spear and 5 points in something that we don't have. It's hard to say exactly what that is. Um, to be honest, that kind of looks like a pig to me, but I know it's definitely not trying to be a pig. Uh, her power is decent. Her defense is decent. I mean, she's well-rounded. Intelligence, mind, agility, all around the same. Not anything close to the ninja build. All agility, power, defense. It's a very nice build. I don't care what anybody says. How you doing, Rabbi? Nothing unusual here with the Rabbi. <laughs> How awesome is that? No, what the hell do you mean, nothing unusual here? It turned into a bird. Uh, so... I do believe that we can not go that way yet. It is locked. So we need to head out the front. Loki, quick, release my brother. Oh, that's right. We need to try. It's locked. Do it. Yeah, nothing unusual here. And we've received the bird gauge key. There we go. Let's let the bird out. Oh, Lester, follow him. We have to let him out. How you doing? Hey, Medusa turned everyone into birds! What should we do? Um, I, what? Everybody's a bird now? This probably isn't gonna bode well for us in, in the future, is it? So, we should probably just head on out of here and back into the town of Jod. Uh, so there is, um... Oh, I forgot there was a cutscene here. Lady Medusa said she was going to the Altar of Time. The Altar of Time. That's where Lester must be. Okay, let's bolt to the Altar of Time. Or we could, uh, not, actually. Hold on for one second. Yeah, it looks like we have done everything here for now that I'm willing to do. So I will meet you back in Minos. I'm going to head to Minos and uh, we're going to complete a couple side quests uh, there. I trust that you guys know the way. And we're back in Minos Village because there is a couple things, well there are a couple things I should say, that we need to do here. Uh, first things first, we need to make it night. So it is night when I'm here. We need to head into the general store at night because we need to talk to... Is it you? It is not you. That is Pancetta. I don't want to talk to Pancetta. That's Vega, so it must be you. No? There we go, Kurt. I thought that was Vega. Uh, he must have moved. A letter from Courtney, and we have delivered Courtney's letter. Dearest Kurt, I have news about Molly. I had heard that she was taken away by soldiers in Wendell, and that appears to be the case. I found out more about what happened, but I can't tell you in a letter. I'll do it in person. I can't stand it. The people can't hear our voice over the realm's propaganda. They have depleted our funds and connections. What more can we do behind the scenes? I want to get back at the realm. I don't care if I have to do it myself. What do you think? With love from Courtney, your former fiance. <laughs> then not that much love. Why did Courtney give this letter to you? No, she chose you. She must have had a reason. That's it. I'll write a reply. Would you take it back to her? Would you give this letter to Courtney? That was the fastest response letter I think I've ever seen. We don't have a choice, we just accept Kurt's letter. Because we are a delivery service, after all. So, that is one thing down. And I believe the other place that we need to go... Is here? It's definitely a residence. Yes, we need to speak with Badra. How did it go? Did my granddaughter like it? Eh, what's that she say? This peach puppy is for me. My, 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 my. Such a sweet girl. Makes me cry. Thank you, youngster. Taking time out to listen to an old lady. I don't have much, but I want you to have this. And we have received a rattle With a granddaughter like mine, I'd say I'm the luckiest granny in the world. I couldn't be happier. And we have completed the side quest. Uh, now, if memory serves me right, and many times it does not, we should actually have 
three rhinolopes instead of just one. I know it just said one, but we get three of them, which is very, very nice. So now, with those two things done, we need to head back to Jod. I'll meet you back there. Okay, we're back in Jod, and now it's time to turn Kurt's letter into Courtney. Thanks, I was hoping for a reply. Delivered Kurt's letter, dearest Courtney. Thanks for the letter. I knew about Molly. I should have told you. I regret putting you in such danger. She's out of their reach and safe now. We've no need to fight anymore. I want you to be free. Come home to Minos. I can't lose you. What? <laughs> one more time. Could I ask you just one more time? I can't leave this place right now. One more favor, please. Uh, please give this letter to Kurt. Accepted Courtney's letter. So it's time to head back to Minos. I'll meet you back there. Back in Minos, it is once again night, and once again we are in the general store. So, what do you have to say about this now? How does Courtney look? Wonderful. Delivered Courtney's letter. Dearest Kurt, this is about more than the two of us. Even now, citizens are still dying. This is everyone's problem. This tragedy, which began with the hunting of the Mana Clan, has changed. Some soldiers left, and other critical ones were jailed. Now is the time for us to make our move. Surely you've heard rumors to this effect. Even Dark Lord has had trouble with them. Things are crumbling from the inside. We may not get another chance. If you want me to quit, give me one good reason why. I can be ready for battle as soon as I receive your reply. Courtney hasn't changed at all. Sorry, but I could, could I ask you once more? Uh, once again, I don't have a choice. I really don't. A letter to Courtney, the last one. Accepted Kurt's letter. Hopefully this really is the last one. I'll meet you back in Jod. Okay, back in Jod. What does Courtney have to say about this? You're late. I'm sick of waiting. Really? Because I ran straight here. I have Kurt's letter for you. Dearest Courtney, men will always fight. Even if we die for a cause, other fights will spring up anew. Wars will go on. Our deaths will become propaganda for the realm and cause others to die. We need to make our message count to communicate greater truth to more people. We leave behind our words, not our lives. Sorry, I was just thrown off by the bad sentence structure. We'll create a legacy of nonviolence. Nonviolence? Hmm? That's just like him. Maybe I'll give him another chance. Thank you. Sorry to keep you. I know you very well. I know you very well? What? Intimately, I'd say. No, you don't. But it ends here. We'll go our separate ways. Take this as a token of my appreciation. And we have received another Dot Bears of Gold. Very, very nice. So, I'm going to actually head back uh, to the Hot House. Um, which is uh, between Jod and Minos, because we have uh, some poetry to read, and I'll just meet you back there. All right, back in the hot house, I have spoken to Little Cactus as many times as I needed. I believe there were four quests that I have finished here. Devious Manor, the plot quest. The devious maids, from what I learned from Mavolia, they've all been spurned. Fall for one and you get burned, unless you like their pointy ears and glazed eyes that let them see yours. Really? You're just starting to get lazy. You write yourself into a hole, Cactus, and then you cannot write yourself out. What is that? Okay, in terms of side quests. We should have a few done down here. A package to someone's grandkid or Mavol. Chief delivered a rhinolope. What? How's that even close to her? Whatever. I got a funny feeling then, but now I'm fine. I'll cope. O okay. Resistance! The chief so kind as to provide a good bit of assistance to folks who opposed foul Dark Lord and formed a small resistance. Okay. Chief's been running around the town, collecting loads of cash. 
Sounds like mafia work to me. But I would keep the stash. Probably should have just kept that 10,000, but it didn't feel right, didn't feel right. And that looks like it is it for the side quests. But I do believe that we should have something finished up here. We do. And I don't think it's what I wanted, to be honest with you. Sitter Squid. That is not what I was hoping for. So I did uh, mistake the day. Uh, that is definitely Gnome Day. And on Gnome Day, there doesn't seem to be anything that I need to make. Uh, I was hoping for something else, but uh, that is not what I was hoping for. The Citrus Squid. I will go over that later. I was trying to make one of the best items in the game in terms of fruits and vegetables, but I didn't get it. So, that looks like that's going to do it for these parts of Let's Play Sword of Mana. I've been Molly Scuba. I've been joined, as always, by Loki and Amanda, who's with us today. Surely she will be in our party forever, just like all the other characters that we've had. Hope you guys have enjoyed these parts. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching. Your poetry sucks.